What's up, I'm Mason the Mason. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to lay some four inch block. So you gotta start with the mud. I'm gonna have some good mud here. So, good, good mud. Good, 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 good mud. Good mud. Hopefully you can see this. Stretch you out a little bit. Uh, there you go, so you wanna roll it. Roll. And then come over to your wall. Spread it across. Roll the mud. Make sure Sorry about the wind, it's terrible. And spread it across. Then you wanna feather it like this. I'm gonna cut away the excess, fill in where it's low. And that's how you spread some mud. All right, so I'm in the middle of the wall here. So you guess where the middle's at? And you don't guess. <laughs> yeah, I just throw it in there wherever. No, I just match up the bottom joint here. Looking down and tapping it to the line. You want to be about a trowel width away from the line so you're not messing up that guy, pissing him off. Or my mom. You don't want to make her mad. She that gets, guy. Yeah, that guy. Don't make, don't make that guy mad. Nope. Either. Don't make John mad. You just pick your nose. <laughs> <laughs> My mom gets mad all the time. Oh yeah. All the time. <laughs> all the time. So can't really help it. She's gonna get mad either way. I gotta hurry up though. You are, because your mom laid like six or seven, you laid one. <laughs> the video's fault. So you guys are making me slow. Hey, you know what? You know what it is? It's the gloves. It's the gloves? It's the gloves. So you don't want to touch the line, you can lay them like an FHA. <laughs> like that. Boom. Oh, shit. Is that all right? Can I flip it around? No, that's all right. When I wash it, I'll take care of that. All right. Again, put your trowel in there. This mud is garbage to like uh, spread, but it's okay. Don't don't touch my mud. Got it. Bud did have uh, Mason and I off. Uh, it's technically all mine. Shit, in our head. <laughs> he brought the mud up when we set it down. He caught the foot on the edge of the scaffolding. Gary did it. Oh yeah. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, wow, wow, wow. And he's like. I'm not a professional! We know! <laughs> <laughs> we got her done. Every time you have a closure, okay. you gotta head both sides of that block. And I hit my block on the wall. Oh, and it's winter time, so this wind, yeah, that's, that's why it's making the, the audio trap. Squeeze it in there, cut the mud away, boom. Also in the winter, you gotta have heaters and tents. Good times, good times. Check the measurements from the roof. I usually make a space to roll my mud, grab a scoop, whoop. When you roll it, you can go way farther when you're spreading. That. You can lay it like this, lay it like this, or you could lay it, grab it one side like that, or one side like that. You set it on your wall, matching your bond, you keep it rolled away, and then you bring it into your line. Tap it, and then you just keep that trowel length away from the line, and that's it. Cut away your mud, next block. So sometimes, like with these, it's really hard to head your block on the wall. So what I do, is I do it off the wall, smear it, one side, other side, top. Make sure your heads are nice and full. Bring it over here, do under there. Same thing. 
match the bottom up, roll it into your line, and tap it down. Trial length is spaced away. Wait for him to get off of it. Cut the mud away, fill in the holes on the top. Every three courses, you gotta put some wall ties in. We're, we got metal studs, so we got self tappers with some washers. And all you do is just stab them in the, in the <laughs> yeah, wall there. Yeah, like this. It's perfect right here, like this. Here. Stick them in there. Holds the whole wall. <laughs> That's all you do. <laughs> all right, nope, nope. Uh -huh. You gotta find it, so you stab it until you, until you can find a stud. <laughs> oh, he lost the screw. Let me find another one, hold but, on. Find another here one. Here goes three bucks. Three bucks a screw, but we love. Oh my gosh, we only have one drill up here. Why? Because we only brought yeah. one up. The 18 we just turned into an A minus two. Well, your truck wasn't here, so yeah. yeah. And then once oh, you find one, it sticks out like that, yeah. and then we drill and then we in. Drill them in, right? Yeah. We just drill them in. We've got a special bit. Big old square head. We got these weird ties that slip over this. So you just go over here, try to slip them in. Yeah, they're a bit of a hassle. Oh. So you should set like that. Yeah. And then you do that every three courses. So it's getting a little close to the edge of this block here. So we gotta get some longer ties to make sure. All right, now that we laid the block, got wall ties, all that good stuff, you gotta strike up. Do a big scoop, get that extra off, nice and clean. This is called a sled runner. Never really used one before this job. But uh, yeah, that's like a straight S iron, but straight and long. I've already made a video on how to do this, but that's all you, like riding a dirt bike, you can scoop that onto your thing, and then you just fill in all the holes. Run it down, through all the heads. There's a hole there, ride the dirt bike. Jam it in there. Pack all the mud in. And once you do all the heads, you just hold this thing straight against your bed joint. Run it across. And that's it. You want this corner square, so you just take a corner block like this, drag it up there. And yeah, once everything's all done with your uh, sled runner, we gotta let it set up a little bit because it's a little too wet but then we'll come back and brush it and then double strike it. The only difference is when you double strike it is you do the beds first and then the heads. And that's about it for laying these four inch block. The wind was really terrible, so sorry about that. I'm sure the audio is probably garbage, but I'm gonna be working here for a while, so I'll make a ton more videos on four inch block. Thanks for watching.